It's Hot 937, hard for his number one for hip hop and R&B. This is the Beat of CT. My name is Jenny Boom Boom, DJ Michi, my co-host is here. What up, Michi? What's up, Jenny? And today we have Philip Blonsky here, who is the Senior Community Engagement Manager for United Way. So welcome to you. Thanks, Jenny. Thanks, DJ Michi. Thanks for having me on today. I'm really excited to uh, talk about an exciting initiative we have going on right now. Great. Nice. So, I mean, we love the United Way. Yes. We, we do a lot of work with the United Way here on this show. But what is United Way? Sure. So um, United Way is a part of a large network, um, United Way Worldwide Network, um, which serves about 1,800 communities in 40 countries and territories worldwide, um, mm -hmm. about 1,200 communities here in the United States. Um, the local chapter here is based here in Hartford, um, but we serve all of central and northeastern Connecticut, so a 52 town service area. Um, and really we're focused on connecting people with causes they care about through volunteering and then also um, giving uh, monetarily, whether that be individually or through their workplace. Um, and so our, our goal is really to, our mission is really to engage and bring people together um, as well as resources and commit them to um, the well-being of children, adults, and families in our local community. Um, that's really what we're all about. Each each community around the country has different needs, and and here in Hartford region, um, some of the ones we focus on are youth success. We want to make sure that our young people are receiving quality education, um, have access to a quality education, um, basic needs. We want to make sure when people uh, are struggling and 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 struggling to make ends meet, we want to make sure they know where to go and how to gain access to resources to improve their situation. Um, financial stability, we wanna make sure our um, families and, and adult individuals in our communities have the ability to be financially stable, to find a good paying job, um, one that will lead to a good career. And then we also wanna make sure that people are healthy, um, have access to health insurance, know where to go to gain access to um, any quality care that they might need. Um, and we can't do that alone. We do that through great community partners, um, volunteers, workplaces, um, you know, getting the word out, such as you all are letting me do today. Um, it's really a group effort, and United Way loves to be that middleman that connects um, those who need the resources with those who are willing to provide them and have them. Wow. Now, Philip, um, you know, what made you want to get involved with United Way and work for them? Sure. So I think the best part about my job is being able to interact with, as I mentioned, the community as a whole. Um, I get to work with those who are so willing to give their time and their dollars to make a difference. And then I'm fortunate enough to then be able to then go present that, whether it be a check, whether it be school supplies or a brand new book to a young person at a school or to a principal that really needs those supplies for this year. Or um, for instance, for this school year, um, a school that would love to have volunteers come in and read virtually to their students to take the, the load off the teachers for the day. Nice. Um, being able to, to kind of see the full circle of all the good people that exist in our communities, um, really giving back to where they work, live, and play, um, and just playing a small role in that really makes me excited to go to work, there, work each and every day. Wow, Philip. Oh. Okay, so you guys have a ton of things going on, but let's focus on the season of giving because this sounds spectacular. Mm -hmm. So, uh, great question. That is the uh, winter drive that we hold each, each and every year. Um, it started a few weeks ago and it runs through December 15th. And typically, uh, this drive would give workplaces and individuals opportunity to go out and um, purchase winter gear um, or food or toys so that then we can get that out into the community, to the schools that we work with, to the community partners, other nonprofits. Um, as you can imagine, with the COVID pandemic, we've kind of had to pivot a little bit and make it more of a virtual experience um, where people can still connect with causes they care about and give back. So we have a few options that people can access through our website, which is um, unitedwayinc.org. Um, one of the options in it is an Amazon wish list. People can go right on to our Amazon wishlist page and purchase supplies such as um, a brand new pair of socks, boots, gloves, winter hat, winter coat um, that we would give back out in the community. Um, workplaces or individuals who are still going into work can start a workplace drive uh, with their colleagues or individuals at home can simply collect items when they go out to shop or, or purchase online on their own and then drop them off at our uh, office in Hartford. Um, the last option we have is we actually have a season of giving fund, 
Um, there's a couple options with the fund. People can just give a direct monetary donation, um, which will be given to su support our local community and provide access to things such as food um, and winter gear during the holiday months. Um, or we actually have a set of kits that people can purchase for the community, um, a winter clothing kind of full set. So, uh, for example, one of the kits is $100. Someone could donate, um, goes directly to uh, a complete uh, wardrobe for a young person, a hat, gloves, uh, coat, um, socks, and so on. We also have a food kit as well as, um, you know, gift cards to grocery stores, uh, which we know items such as that are, are of a high need right now. Um, so we really gave people a plethora of options, uh, whatever suits their fancy, and it's all available on our website. Um, we also have volunteer opportunities. We want people to have the ability in a safe manner uh, to give back. And I know uh, we're gonna talk about that in a little bit, but um, whether that's in person, if people are feeling safe and, and, and um, comfortable doing that, we have opportunities that are outside and, and with small groups, or we have some virtual options as well. Are you finding, you know, with everything that's going on with COVID and people losing their jobs, I mean, are you finding that there's a greater need than past years this, this coming season? So there's, there's always been a need. Um, there's always been a need and it's definitely been exasperated due to the pandemic. Um, we've definitely seen a drop off in volunteering in terms of in-person volunteering, right. uh, but we have not seen a drop off in terms of people wanting to give back um, because they know the need's greater. Um, and so we, as an organization, have pivoted to allow those opportunities for people to give back to still be available, um, just making sure they're in a safe and, and, and you know, COVID safe uh, environment for people to do so. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I have talked about this on the show a lot that I feel like a lot of uh, middle class families, especially, um, are finding themselves in a situation that they didn't think they'd find themselves in this year. Um, so I think this is just spectacular that you guys are offering this. Mm -hmm. And we and part of our role at United Way, like I said, is to really address not only um, immediate needs, which we're all facing with the pandemic, but also um, long term challenges that our communities face. So as we all know, whenever this pandemic ends, hopefully it ends sooner rather than later, but the challenges that already existed and might exist now because of the pandemic are going to continue um, once it's over. So um, at United, we're looking not only to recover, but then rebuild and, and reimagine a better world when we come out the other side. Um, and so we're hoping that not only us, but the community as a whole can kind of come together and do that. Right. Yeah. So as far as outside of like donating and if I wanted to be a volunteer and get involved, mm -hmm. how do I do that? Great question. So um, we have a variety of virtual options that we've offered since April. Um, for example, we've uh, encouraged volunteers to sew and donate face masks. As we know, it's a huge need in our community. And since um, April, we've actually given out 25,000 single use and reusable face masks into our community to schools, uh, um, nonprofits. So we're really proud of that. Wow. Um, we've also uh, offered the opportunity for volunteers to record themselves making a variety of different videos. So whether it be a read aloud for a young person, um, we've had groups and workplaces uh, come up with a kind of like a virtual career fair um, to share with some of our uh, partners in the, in the um, secondary education world. Um, we've also had a virtual letter writing um, website where people can write letters to healthcare workers, um, to uh, school partners, to um, uh, you know bus drivers, grocery store workers. So any uh, uh, emergency worker, or, um, you know, immediate response worker that you can think of, we've had letters go out to. Um, a lot of those opportunities are still available, as well as working with some of our community partners who have their own virtual opportunities, but they aren't as big as United Way and don't have the network that we do. So we share their opportunities as well, as well that people can give back and support um, other nonprofits in the area as well. Wow. Um, so, you know, this is amazing uh, that you guys are doing this season of giving. Have you guys looked forward to 2021 yet to see exactly what you think the needs of the community will be at that time? Great question. So, um, I think this whole situation right now is fluid. We've had to pivot and change um, kind of how the pandemic goes. Uh, we are really gonna continue to focus on those four areas that I mentioned earlier. Um, the need is, is gonna continue to be greater as we go through the winter months. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we're hoping it gets better sooner rather than later, but we just don't know that. Um, so we're gonna continue to do what we can 
um, continue to make sure that students can get a strong education. Um, we're getting the word about where people can get basic needs, especially during um, the winter months, whether that's a face mask, whether that's um, a shelter when it gets colder, um, whether that's, you know, we're going to be into tax season soon. So right. offering our free tax service, you know, what free tax every, service what? <laughs> with what? everything going on, with everything going on, we still, we still have to, people still have to follow taxes. So we want to make sure that hey, what's the criteria surrounding that? Cause some free tax service sounds good sure. to me. Yeah. Sure. So, um, <laughs> starting at, in a couple of months now, we, we actually have a service called Vita that we recruit volunteers and they get trained, um, by the, or get trained to become IRS certified for free um, by United Way and, and with a partner of ours, the Village for Families and Children. Uh, and then we offer a, a free uh, tax service to individuals and families making um, $52,000 or less uh, on an annual basis. Um, so it's really great service that we, you know, is gonna be even more of a need this year as more people fall under that um, criteria, unfortunately. Um, but the ability to get your taxes done for free is incredible. And then to get the money back that they've earned from the government, which is you know something that a lot of us are gonna need um, as people have lost their jobs and people have, um, have been at home. So I don't wanna get too far off season of giving, but that's also a great I uh, understand great that, Philip, but this is exciting, this free tax <laughs> thing, I'm sorry. You know? Yeah, that's okay. And I would be happy to come back on in a few months and discuss our Vita program as it as it gets going great yeah i mean like when do you have to sign up for that <laughs> just um so right now we are just recruiting the volunteers but in in about a month month and a half people can begin to make appointments okay. um how appointments are made are through 211 um connecticut 211 is as people may be familiar with that's a a partner of united way um so it's as simple as either going on 211's website or calling 211 um they get you set up with where you can go to get your taxes done um, most of it this year will or if not all of it will be virtual um typically people go to get it done in person right, um, yeah. but once again uh, being flexible and pivoting to a virtual um, realm uh, that we all have had to get used to this year uh, we you know people still have to follow taxes so we want to make sure they can do it safely and, and yeah secure. I didn't even think about it being virtual wow okay <laughs> No, that's even that's even more con convenient than sitting in that boring tax office the whole time. <laughs> I'm always hit with a charge too of like three hundred dollars for my taxes, and I'm like, well, dang, like <laughs> it's crazy. So that's awesome that you guys are offering that. It really is. Mm -hmm. Um, so you know, the season of giving again, just go over you know how we can donate because I I. I'm in the giving mood. I want to donate to these families. Yep. So once again, I'd encourage everyone to visit our website. Um, it's United Way Inc. So United Way Inc. Dot org. Um, there's multiple ways to give, um, whether it's just ordering something from our Amazon wishlist page, um, purchasing a kit that can benefit a student, uh, an adult, a family. Um, there's also uh, if, if you are going into work and you have colleagues who are there holding a workplace drive, bringing things into work to collect and then drop off at United Way, or if you're an individual that, you know, wants to get out of the house or, or has a lot to give, um, feel free to swing by and drop it off at our office um, or volunteer. Uh, like I said, we have virtual options. Um, while it's not too cold, if, you, if you're comfortable to go do it in person, um, the need is great. Um, but the the willingness of our community to give back is greater um, and we want to continue to push that message that um, there is something you can do right now even at home on the couch uh, in front of your computer um, you know to make our situation here in the Hartford region a little bit better. Philip what does volunteering in person look like? So we have limited uh, our groups to 10 people or less uh, we have tried as much as possible to have uh, projects outside. Um, and so we have had them throughout the fall. As it gets a little bit colder, we're not going to have that, obviously, uh, as we have a few more available here for November. Um, for the winter months, it'll probably be virtually uh, volunteering for the most part. Um, but throughout the fall and for these last, next couple of weeks, uh, it's small groups outside, um, socially distant with people wearing masks. Um, and once again, if you're not comfortable, we have virtual options as well. Uh, what, kind, what kind of work does it involve though? Sure, so we have community partners who are, um, you know, we work with um, 4-H and the Keeney Park uh, Project Foundation. So, you know, cleaning up the parks, um, basic maintenance before the winter months. Um, you know, for some of our partners, they're working with crops that need to be uh, fixed up for next year's 
um, growing season. So different things like that. Normally, I'm just, I'm just asking because you know families, <laughs> families like mine with kids. Sure. We're sure. you know we're kind of in between sports seasons right now, and we kind of are looking for stuff to do on the weekends that are outside as a family. Sure. You know, to get some exercise or whatever. So you know, absolutely, some of these things sound great. We also have one with um, Channel Three. Kids Camp, which I know a lot of people are familiar with locally. Um, they do the Holiday Lights Fantasia event every year in, in Goodwin Park in Hartford. And so we also work with them to provide them volunteers because someone has to set that all up. Um, and we're fortunate to be partnered with um, Channel 3 Kids Camp to provide them volunteers for that. And the way to do that is just contact you guys on your website. Yep. So we have a, our volunteer registration page um, is very similar to the one for Season of Giving. Um, it's volunteer.unitedwayinc.org. Um, and that lists all of United Way's current volunteer opportunities, as well as many of our community partners in the Hartford region actually list their volunteer opportunities on our website. Um, so not only are our opportunities available, people can sign up to work with a variety of other nonprofits locally as well. Wow. That sounds incredible. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the season of giving is officially here. It's here. It started a few weeks ago and it goes till December 15th. Um, that being said, uh, we we're willing to take items like that throughout the winter, you know, just because our drive ends on December 15th doesn't mean the need for gloves, hats, face masks, um, coats is going to end. Um, but the official drive ends on the 15th of December, but we will um, continue to accept items, uh, you know, up until the springtime. Yeah. And, and I mean, again, I love the fact that you're stressing that because just because the holidays are over, doesn't mean the need goes away. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. In fact, it might grow even, you know, worse, the situation. So um, I'm really glad that you guys are doing so many wonderful things over there at the United Way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me on. And like I said, I, uh, you know, we're willing to take anyone, anyone who wants to help. Um, please know that there's stuff out there to do and that the need is still great. And uh, we, we need to all work together to both um, recover and rebuild uh, from the pandemic. So on your website, you do list all the locations if we do want to drop off donations. So um, for the drop off of donations, it would be our main location in Hartford. We have an office at um, 30 Laurel Street in Hartford. Okay. Um, it's right near uh, the Parkville section of the city, Parkville Asylum Hill. Right. Um, and uh, my colleague Annie Summers is the contact for the event, but you know people can reach out to me as well. Um, but uh, that can all be found on our website uh, on the on the links um, that I mentioned. Um, but it's uh, you know people can get in touch with us; they can donate. We we do have people going into the office, but um, it's kind of uh, on a per need basis, so yeah. it would just need to be set up with a staff person. But that's very easily um, done. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Philip Blonsky. He's a senior.